now I will show you how to apply some road marking directions like the arrow direction for this road. One method is using a creating a family for the road marking. You can I have created one road marking family, so we'll use the insert load family and the speed of my computer and desktop. Here I have the direction arrows. I can open it and insert. This is just to show you how to create a road marking using the pre-created family direction. So here we go to the component in place. Yeah. After saving it, now you see that the family has been inserted, direction arrows. Let's click it to the correct direction. Insert it. And then let's create another arrow. Select this and rotate it using the spacebar. Press the spacebar, space bar. or we're just going to select and rotate it. Place the arrow or the point. Let's rotate it uh, negative 90. So it will be 90. Let's rotate again, or either we can rotate or use mirror. We can use a mirror set as reference, then let's erase the previous one. We can move this to our preferred location, align it there. Let's move it to here, or move it a little bit to the center. These arrows or Road markings are created using the family, so it's much easier. You can insert it rather than creating or modeling in place. Let's move it to here so you can see. One good thing about using the family is you can copy it and then you can place it also on an inclined plane without accepting the work. It attaches to the surface. It's a family. It has insert. Let's go to the place component again. Direction arrow. Then you can place it. It's in need to have a surface. Once we transfer from here, it's a different surface elevation and also different. So here, click spacebar to rotate it. Click the location. Select it. So that is how to place the directional arrow in a flat surface and a line surface. Here, let's move this a little bit. So nicer, still nice. Equal balance. Let's move the car. So it's on the opposite direction so we have to move this to the opposite direction and this to the correct position here we cannot see the arrow because we're on a site we have to go to level 2 on the roof level then we can place the component here, this component, directional arrow, here you can see it now. You have to go to the work plane and or the surface you want to place. So that is how to place a road marking directional arrow using a family based created to a family using a floor based hosted family. Thank you.